Hey YouTube, it's ICU here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to increase your iDevices RAM by up to 50%. Now this is really cool guys, and if some of you guys are my longtime subscribers, you will know that I made a video about this a while back, and I also included some other methods to increase your RAM by up to 60%. Now those methods were proven to be unsafe and unstable and could potentially lead to you bricking your iDevice or forcing a restore. So neither one of those things are good. But uh, now I'm only showing you guys one method that is safe unless you guys delete something that you shouldn't delete. So you guys shouldn't proceed unless you know what you're doing, you're an experienced iDevice hacker, and you think you can handle it and not mess up your device. So it is basically removing launch daemons. Now launch daemons are files that load up with your iDevice that tell it to run certain things on startup. Basically, it's like just going into MS Config if you're on Windows and turning off different processes from starting up when you uh, turn on your computer. So that ultimately results in you freeing your RAM. Now you can still use those processes, but uh, they just don't start up with your iDevice. And I don't know why Apple just didn't do this in the beginning, because this is ultimately the way to go. So in order to do this, you are going to have to SSH into your iDevice. Now I use WinSCP on my computer and I also have OpenSSH on my iPhone which enables me to do this. If you don't know what I'm talking about or you don't know how to SSH, you can Google it or search YouTube. It is really easy and it can be used for more than one thing. So I'm just going to log into my iPhone here and I'm going to show you guys where to navigate and how to do this properly. So once you open it up, you're just going to go all the way back, no matter what SSH client you're in, you just go all the way back to the root which is uh, where I'm at right now and then you want to go to system once inside a system you go to library and then you look for a folder called launch daemon it's right there and uh, you see all these little text files now these are the launch daemons that tell different processes to start up when your iDevice boots up so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this whole folder drag it to our desktop so it copies it and then what we're gonna do after that is we're just going to copy this folder and paste this folder. Now what this does is it gives us a backup of all the daemons in case you have to go back and you have to restore your daemons. Uh, like for instance if you delete Com Center, then that makes it so your phone doesn't work. But if you have an iPod Touch you can do that. But if you have an iPhone you definitely wouldn't want to do that because uh, you could be pretty frustrated. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this folder up and uh, the one that you copied and you're gonna to come to this website it will be in the more info and if you look here you can see safe daemons that you can remove uh, and it tells you exactly what each one is used for so you can see which ones you can remove you can see conditional ones depending on what you want on your device like for instance this one disables spotlight searching which actually frees up a lot of RAM uh, there's one that you can manually edit there are device specific daemons for instance com center right here the one that I was talking about that disables phone calls if you're on an iPhone but if you're on an iPod touch you can do it and then ones that you absolutely cannot touch jailbreak daemons and uh, yeah it just gives you guys some warnings basically what I told you guys not to proceed if you don't know what you're doing so what you guys want to do is you want to find one that you want to delete uh, let's say we want to delete com.apple.dumppanic.plist so what we do is we would come over here to our copied daemons and we would search for that. So we'd search for com.apple and then uh, we would just find it that way. And then once you find it, uh, I'm just gonna pick a random one here, you would delete it. I actually have one that's pre-made right here. And if you go to properties, I can show you guys that I have 72 files here. And in the original one, uh, it has 87 files. So that's a pretty big difference and it will give me more RAM. So what you wanna do is you want to go into launch daemons on your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad and then you just want to select all of these launch daemons right here and you delete them. So you'll be fine as long as you don't turn off your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad or try and respring. What you want to do then is you want to take your edited ones and you want to select all of them and drag them in. The reason why I like to do it that way is so you have that nifty little search thing so you can just search through them like that and so it backs it up with your original one. So that's how you would do it. Now I haven't resprung or rebooted or anything and I'm going to show you guys how much RAM I have right now. Right now I'm running at 338 megabytes of RAM. 
So I'm going to power off and I will be back when it has finished rebooting and I will let you guys know what I'm getting now. So now I'm back and it's booted up and I have about 388 megabytes of free RAM right now. Uh, before I had 391 but uh, it kind of tapered off there as everything started to load up. Uh, and as you can see I, I have full function of my iDevice here. You wouldn't even be able to tell that uh, anything happened to it unless you delete daemons that uh, you know could ultimately end up in uh, something harmful for your device. So I hope you guys like this video. I found this really useful and I've used it forever. I've used it since my original iPhone. Uh, it's really awesome guys. It'll work basically on any firmware. Just make sure you don't delete ones that could potentially brick your device. So please comment, rate, subscribe. This is ICU signing out.